Howdy, South Holland. It is time for another Lunch with the Librarian. Tucker, I hear you. Um, you might ask yourself, South Holland, why do you make soup so bloody often, Jen? Um, and part of the reason for that, A, is because soup is delicious. But also, B, um, in my former life, I used to be a high school teacher. Some of you may know me from that. Um, and oftentimes, if I would get soup for lunch from the cafeteria, my students would, who didn't, who were not able to get soup in the cafeteria, would, like, they'd be like, oh, I want soup for lunch too. And so I make a lot of soup because for all of those kids who could not get soup for lunch in the cafeteria. Today is a real easy one, y'all. Um, it is literally dump stuff into a pot and simmer it until it's been through. Ooh, I'm sorry for that extreme close-up. Um, it is a kind of a white chicken chili sort of situation. Um, is it super authentically Mexican? No. Is it, does it need to be? Is it going to be delicious? Hush. Uh, also, no. So let's get to it. I just lit the burner. It's on medium heat. We're not cooking anything. We're just heating stuff through. And this one is five ingredients. So the first ingredient that I'm dumping in is 48 ounces or six cups of chicken broth. I happened to find at, the, at Jewel when I was there a box that's exactly as big as I need it to be, which is super convenient. Um, I'm going to shake this up and if I can get this bloody thing open, there we go. I'm just dumping it straight into my soup pot. Taking care not to splash it all over the place with one hand while I move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing in the other. You can hear my dog Tucker in the background. Um, there's chicken and she wants it and she's crying for it and she ain't getting any of it. Um, all right, so that's 48 ounces or six cups of chicken broth. And you know how I do the reduced sodium so that I can control the amount of saltiness that is in my food. So I've got that chicken broth going. I rinsed, I drained and rinsed two cans of white beans. So these at the grocery, like these I got at Aldi, these I got at Jewel. I thought I had two cans, whatever. Um, it says white kidney beans. It also says cannellini beans. Um, sometimes you see them labeled as great northern beans. Um, they're all the same. They're white beans. And I just rinse those in water in the colander. And I'm just dumping them in my soup. The next thing that goes that just go, gets dumped in is two cups or, um, oh, hang on, let me double check that. S two cups of salsa verde. This is more than I need. Um, so, and I didn't realize that. The last thing I'm gonna throw in is two teaspoons of ground cumin. And that's that. Um, into the pool with that guy. Um, let me grab my measuring cup. My measuring cup. Here's a measuring cup. Um, I know it looks just like a ball jar or a mason jar, but it has, I don't know if you can see, see that it has like measuring lines on the side. I use that a lot. Her. I am strong sometimes, clearly not today. I'm trying to use the rubber. 
mitt. Aha! Take that jar of salsa. You're no match for me. So two cups of salsa verde. One cup. And I know, Tucker. Two cups. This happens to be medium heat. Um, I like things a little bit zingy. I don't like things crazy hot. If you do, and you can get hot, hot salsa verde and that's what you want, that's cool. Um, if you want mild, and you don't want it spicy at all, that's fine too. Whatever sounds like delicious to you is exactly what you should use. Um, salsa verde is green because, in, just in case you didn't know this, and a lot of people don't, it doesn't have tomatoes in it. It has these little green fruits called tomatillos. Um, you've probably seen them, they look like that, in the produce section of the grocery store. Um, they get roasted with, they kind of look like to tomatoes, but they're not. Um, they're actually part of the, um, they're, also, they're actually berries, um, botanically speaking. So this goes, it's tomatillo and green bell pepper and jalapeno a little bit if you get the medium or the hot um, and some onion and it's just it's just a different flavor it's not real roasty or toasty and then the last thing that I'm throwing into my pot is between three and four cups of cooked chicken so this is two chicken breasts um, that I have pulled apart into kind of bite-sized pieces. Some of it, I, I did a better job than others. Um, I'm just going through. Um, if you wanna dice it with a knife, that's fine. Um, I kinda like the more kinda, I don't know, t textury texture of pulling it apart with my hands. And I'm trying to make sure that there aren't too many pieces that are bigger than the biggest spoon I would eat this with. Um, and this is already cooked, so all we're doing is heating it through. We're not worried about making sure that it's not raw anymore. Um, if you have leftover chicken, this would be a perfect use for it. I didn't. I had to cook this fresh, which is why the dog is being so um, such a fussy pants. Um, so just into the pool they go. Be really careful not to splash and get soup all over the place. Can you rinse my hands off real fast? And that's it. That's all the prep. Six cups of broth. Two cans of beans, two chicken breasts, two cups of salsa verde, and two teaspoons of cumin. And that's it. And now all I'm doing is kind of making sure that this all gets mixed together and heated through. Simmer this for about 10 minutes and I'll see you when it's all good to go. All right, my friends, it's been about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna, it's not boiling or anything. I don't need it to because I'm not cooking anything through. The beans in the can are already cooked. You don't need to do anything to them. The chicken was already cooked. It didn't need to be cooked further. Um, salsa, chicken broth, spice, um, not anything we're really concerned about. So I just, it's, you can, hang on, let me see if I can't get really close to that. It's like just, it's not boiling, but it's like right there if you look, 
there's like little bubbles that you can see kind of poking up to the top. So it's perfect. I'm going to turn this guy off and serve myself a bowl. So this is like, the recipe calls it white chicken chili and I'll link obviously the recipe um, in the comments like I always do. And I will post this video on the Youth Services YouTube channel like I always do. Um, it's really way more of a soup than a chill, like a traditional chili like I made before. Um, so there are all sorts of different ways that you can top this if you want to. Um, if you have shredded uh, Chihuahua cheese or Monterey Jack cheese or Pepper Jack, that would be great on this. Um, I have some diced avocado in my bowl. Um, I bought it frozen at Aldi and microwaved it to thaw it out. We'll see how this goes. Um, so I've got that avocado and um, I don't have any cheese, but that would be really, really good on this. Um, like a little tiny squirt of lime juice, or if you've got actual limes, if you're like more like hardcore than I am. If you got actual limes and want a little squeeze of lime, that would be great. I've got, um, so my husband is addicted to hot sauce and so we have like a million hot sauces in our fridge. Um, I've got this one that's, um, it's green and it's got a little kick to it. Um, I figured it would go well with the salsa verde in here, which is also like verde is green. So I figured those two things would go well together. Um, if you are a person who likes uh, green onions, like scallions, or even just chopped white onion, that would work. I'm not. I really hate raw onions. Uh, um, if you're pro cilantro, cilantro would be great on there. The last thing I have, and this is like truly what I'm excited about. If you have tortilla chips and you want to like crunch those up and throw those on top, that would be red as well. Let me move this, um, this pot is a bit unwieldy. Um, and how many tortilla chips? But there are Doritos and like Doritos are delicious. So I'm going to crunch those up and pour some of those crumbs of Dorito on top of my soup. Again, not super authentic, but super tasty. Um, and that is your white chicken chili. Like, it's clearly, this makes a ton. So if you're feeding multiple people or if you want to make a pot of soup and eat soup, all day, like every day for a week, you absolutely can. Um, and I hope that you do make it. And please let me know how yours turned out in the comments. Um, I, I'm i going to go eat this before it gets cold. Have a great week, South Holland. And I will see you in my kitchen next week. Have a good day.